Uh, this is going to allow to share the limit of tangent x minus sine x over x cubed. When we substitute 0 to a tangent function, we should obtain 0 and sine 0 is also 0 over 0 cubed, which means that we have 0 over 0 and this is indeterminate form. In other words, we can apply the Lobita's rule. So we have to differentiate the numerator with respect to x and also we have to differentiate the denominator with respect to x as well. So we should obtain limit x approaches 0. So differentiate tangent is secant squared x and differentiate sine x is equal to cos x. So differentiate x cubed is 3x squared. Now we should substitute 0 again. So we know that secant is 1 over cos. Cos 0 is equal to 1, which means that we have 1 over 1 squared. So 1 over 1 squared is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. And 3, 0 squared is also 0. Again, we have indeterminate form, which means that we have to apply the L'Hopital's rule again. So when we differentiate secant squared, we can apply the formula that we derived in the previous video. So for this case, we should have 2 tangent x secant squared x and when we differentiate cos is negative sign so negative negative positive so positive sine x over 3 times 2 is equal to 6x and now we should have when we substitute 0 to tangent is 0 so 0 times anything we obtain 0 so this term is 0 plus sine 0 is 0 over 6 times 0 is 0. So again, this is in determinate form. So which means that we have to differentiate again. Unfortunately, for this time, we have product. So we have to apply product rule. So let's say we let u be 2 tangent x and v be secant squared x. Recall that when we have the function u, v and differentiate with respect to x, we should obtain u times dv dx plus v times du dx. So we just have to apply this formula and we should obtain where we have u to tangent x times dv dx, which is follow the formula here, which means that we have 2 tangent x secant squared x. Since this is power 2, so n is 2 for this case, and plus v, v is secant squared x times du dx. Differentiate 2 tangent x is 2 secant squared x. And plus, we have to differentiate sine, which is cos, over so we have 6x here, where we differentiate 6x is 6. Now we should substitute what we have here. So when we substitute 0 to tangent, then this definitely will be 0. So secant, when we substitute 0, is 1. So which means that we have 1 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. And for cos is 1. So which means that we have 2 plus 1 over 6 and this is equal to 3 over 6 and hence we have 1 over 2 and hence we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.